Hey guys, how's it going? So welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be upgrading the M.2 in my computer. It's going to be a little tricky since I only have one M.2 slot, so I will be showing how to get around that, how to clone it, and pretty much install it. So let's begin. All right, so we're gonna open this up first. Use a knife. Okay, there it is. Since I only have one M.2 slot in my computer, I am gonna use this. It's an M.2 enclosure. I bought it off of Walmart, so it was cheap there. And all you do is Take that little tab out, and right here is the interface where you would put your M.2. Got little plug thing here. So what you do is you slide it in here, get it to click, push it down, take this little pin, and push that in there to hold it into place. And that's pretty much it. You just take your cover. Put it back on. I guess technically you don't need to if you're going to be taking it right back out like me. And then it has a USB Type C right here. So plug that in here. And then it connects right to a USB port. So take the enclosure and just plug it into your computer now. Okay, so now I'm going to clone my current hard drive to the new one. And I'm going to be using the Samsung data migration since it is their pretty much SSD. So I thought it'd be easier just to use the program they provide. Are there other programs out there? Yes. There's free ones. There are paid ones. But I'd rather just use the one they provide. It is free. And I'm just trying to make sure I don't have any errors. <laughs> so it's fairly simple. So right here you can see Samsung SSD 970 Evo Pro. It's the current one that's in there. And all you got to do is change your target drive and I will change it to the nine, the 980 Pro. So, and then all you do is hit start. I'm not going to record it through my computer while doing this though, because I don't want to mess anything up. So I'll probably just change to my phone. Okay. So after I started the cloning, I realized there is only a 300 megabyte transfer rate. So this is going to take a little longer than I thought. A few moments later. Okay, after 15 minutes, it's finally done cloning, and now I can unplug it, and now I can start tearing everything apart in my computer to get to where the M.2 slot is. So my M.2 slot is actually under my GPU, so I gotta remove the GPU first. So I unplug it, take the two screws that are in the back holding it in, and then hit the little clamp and pull the GPU out. There is one screw that is holding the M.2 in. I was too lazy to put the cover on it, so yeah. Once you take that screw out, it pretty much just pops up anyways. The M.2 only fits one certain way. There is a slot in it. And all you do is you push it in. It will be at an angle, and then you take your screw to pretty much force it down and then just tighten and that's pretty much it to do in this so after making sure the m.2 is pretty much seated correctly i'm just going to put start putting everything back together so i'm going to put the gpu back in its slot plug it back in put the two screws back in and then move on to the next step so at this point, you just want to, when you reboot your computer, you just want to hit whatever key it takes to get into your BIOS and just want to make sure your boot priority is set correct. Right now, mine is wrong. I'm going to change it to the 980 Pro and then pretty much save and exit. And then it may post a couple times, but it should start up from there. Okay, so everything up to this point in the video was pretty much done correctly. I didn't have any issue. But I did run into a problem, so I will explain what happened. So pretty much after I was done filming, I started to edit the video and resolve, and it kept crashing on me. So I did my Windows updates, 
I updated the drivers through NVIDIA and it was still crashing. So the next thing I did is I downloaded this Samsung Magician and it pretty much gives all the details about the new SSD. So it gives you temperatures and stuff, which very nice. And then I, it has a performance benchmark. And as you can see right here, the read for the first time I did it was 389 <gasps> right of 1000, which is terrible. So then I tried to figure out why I was getting this and I ended up calling Charles, who's pretty much my computer tech guy, and we were just bouncing ideas off each other. And it ended up resorting in me having to update my BIOS. I had two updates for my BIOS. I was kind of scared to do it because I do not want to brick my board. And it was, it was actually easier than I thought. So once I did it, I was able to get a score of 3,500 and a rate of pretty much 3,500 which is still not the fastest this drive can do. My next problem was, I just, my motherboard's M.2 slot can't handle that. It can't handle the 4X4. I can only handle the 3X4, so. I guess I gotta get a new motherboard to get pretty much the full potential of the read speed, so. So other than the motherboard issue I ran into, I feel like this video kinda went pretty good. Well, at least installing everything. So probably for my next video, I will be taking this 970 Evo and installing it into my daughter's laptop. So keep an eye out for that. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them. And if you're new to the channel or just overall just want to sub to the channel, it'd be great. And I guess that's it for this one. So thanks for watching and bye.